Meet the Repesco 64 pencil sharpener. This is, to my way of thinking, the best all-round pencil sharpener for coloured pencil work. What you get in the box is the pencil sharpener and a neat clamp to clamp it securely to the tabletop so you can work it easily. It's a bit tricky to master at first, so I'll just explain how it works. It works on all types of coloured pencils that I use, including the slightly fatter luminance and the slightly softer Prismacolor. So on the side of the front plate, there's a button. Depress that and push out the front plate. If you push it out too far, it'll lock like that and then it won't work. So to unlock, you just need to flick up that bar there and it will release the spring. So press open and that opens the jaws here that clamp the pencil. And you're going to insert the pencil in there carefully, especially with the soft ones because you don't want what's left of the pencil to break off in there. And then if you've got it clamped, it's easy. If you haven't got it clamped, just hold it firmly and turn the handle at the back. The handle goes slack when either the point is broken off inside the sharpener or the point is sharp. So here we are. We have a lovely sharp pencil ready for use. Okay. If by any chance you do break off the tip of the pencil in here, just firmly untwist the back when they're new. It is quite stiff to do. So just the base of the handle there just comes undone. And if you pull it out, you will see this spiral mechanism here. This is the sharpener. And this is what you need, whatever type of pencil sharpener you get, you need one of these because they last virtually forever and keep on sharpening um, and if you look inside through there where my finger is if you've broken off the point it will be lodged in there and you can dislodge it with a, a point a compass point or a Pergamano 0.5 embossing tool would be useful and if you want to know whether it is blocked and you can't see a point there if you look down the barrel and you can't see daylight, then you know that you've still got something embedded in there. And once it's clear, then just insert it carefully in the back, line up the little notches around the edge here, you can find them, and then twist it home tight. It has a, a, a little tray at the bottom, which carries the, the sharpenings, you can empty from time to time, and that's all there is to it. So I'll just show you the same process on a luminance pencil. So these are slightly fatter and again it grips them well and sharpens well. So there we go. And also with the Prismacolor which were very soft, these have a tendency to break off. So when you insert them in make sure you do it horizontally and you don't twist the pencil as you insert it. So push it in, let go, and then very gently and carefully turn the handle. And then remove the pencil. The wood is not very good quality on the Prismacolor, so they often sort of fray at the edges. But this has sharpened well. And if there's any problem, if the weather's too hot, then put these in the fridge for a half an hour and then sharpen them. And if you use um, a pencil extender like one of these, then you can insert your short stubs of pencil and you can still sharpen them. You don't pull this out so far because otherwise the pencil won't go in. Um, but it will still sharpen. And you, so you'll get a lot more use out of your pencil then, even with these little stub ends. And there you are, that's the Repesco 64.